Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. Guess what time of year it is? It's the time of year for the donkeys. The donkey show, yeah. Susan Fox. So good to see you. Thank good you for reaching you. out again. I still have my donkey pillow you gave me. Oh, that's awesome. I love that pillow so I much. I bet you do. I bet you do. So tell us, what's going on? Well, you're all dressed. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. <laughs> we start out on uh, Sunday night. We're doing our um, second NMDA National and Acosta National Show here at the Ozark Empire Fair. This year we have 123 donkeys, seven states, 48 exhibitors, coming from Tennessee, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Ohio, and Kentucky. Wow. And then the great state of... Missouri. Missouri. Of course. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we've got a lot going on. We've got a lot going on at the fair. You come out Tuesday morning, you're going to see something that you're going to practice here. This is our performance. If you come out Tuesday morning, though, or your viewers come out Tuesday morning, they got to come in gate 10. Gate 10, okay. Your viewers go to the front, can't get in. And uh-huh. little treat this year for your viewers. Let us know that you saw us here. Find my mom, Frances, who's 90 years old. You will find her, <laughs> and she's got a special treat for you. Oh, so. awesome little thing for your viewers. That is amazing. Okay, so uh, Riley and Haley, welcome to the show as well. Can you introduce our beautiful donkeys that we have here? This is Stone Frank James. And then, so cute. Yeah. This is what, and then in the pen we have Rebel and Fancy. And can you tell me about the baby? Yes. So Rebel is about four months old and he's spotted so he'll not only be registered with the Miniature Donkey Association, but also the Acosa Association as well. Can I ask a question? Is he still nursing? Yes. I was wondering because I think I saw the little baby trying to be like, I'm hungry, Mama. He is. It's so cute. It's so cute. Little cute. What can people expect at the show? What what kind of activities are they going to see? So on Sunday night, we'll do coon jumping, which is where the um, donkeys start at a standstill, and then they'll jump. They can jump taller than they are. So a 32-inch donkey can jump 36 inches. Wow. So the highest I've heard a donkey jump is about 42 inches, which is ridiculously high. And then sun, and then Monday, we'll have our halter classes. And then Tuesday is where we'll do all of our trail obstacle course classes, as well as all of our jumping classes. This is going to be so much fun. Which is your favorite. It is my favorite. You I love, love performance. I, the performance element, I mean, how, how could you not? So, okay, I know Maddie wants to get in the pin. Oh, yeah, for sure. I know you do. <laughs> i got to get in. And then, can we take this one? Can you show me a, a run, and then I'm going to try to help uh, it, it, it do a jump? Is that what's going to happen, Riley? Okay. So, okay. I'm going Haley to Haley will go, go take him first around okay. and just kind of show you. Okay, I'm, we're going to watch, because I'm going to try to do this after she does. I don't know if I'll be very good at it. <gasps> good job! Okay, here, you want to hold this microphone? Sure. There we go. Navigate okay. him through. Okay, here we go. Can you stay beside me? Okay, yeah, Haley will walk around with you. Go, go Jeremy, go. Got it. Let's go. Woo! Oh. Very good. And go again, you That's go again. Okay. Got to do it again. So how often, well, hello, how often um, are you practicing with the jumping and how, like, quickly do you escalate the height? So we'll practice, like, this week we're going over almost every day to go jump. There you go. It's eating my jacket. Clean clean run. I mean, Frank loves to jump. It's his absolute favorite thing to do. Um, Give him a little animal cracker afterwards, he is happy. But (laughs) The baby's eating me. (laughs) I just get little nibbles here and there. Sorry, keep going. His name is Rebel. Rebel, okay, Rebel without a cause. Rebel is a nibbling. Here, I'll come over here and sit by Susie. There we go. And this one was fancy, right? The the bigger one? Okay. Oh, my gosh. These, uh, I got to say, you don't think about, you think about, like, horses being shown, Mm -hmm. dog shows. You don't think about the donkeys. This is something that people like to watch, though. It is, and that's why we're glad that you allow us to promote this, because people always say, you know, I see the horses, and they come looking for the horses, but come looking for the donkeys. This is way more fun. Mm -hmm. The performance classes are a hoot. We do some fun stuff. We've got a trail course they have to navigate through, which is, you know, we do that for a reason, because when you've got these donkeys out at a situation like this, you want them to be able to get through everything. I mean, they've been out here with mowers, traffic, you guys, somebody new taking a hold of them. So that's training. That's training. When they say, though, somebody's as stubborn as a, a mule, is that true? Are they stubborn? That's the difference between a mule and a donkey. And a donkey. And a donkey. Okay, see, we're learning something new. What is the difference? The donkey trust you. The donkey, you earn their trust. Uh, How do you do that? Well, you just work with them a lot. Okay. And you prove to them that you're not going to hurt them. And, and you do this. This right here is because Rolling D Farm from Mount Vernon, which is where these are from, Bill and Jenny Davis's donkeys, they spend time with these donkeys. The second that one hit the ground over there, Rebel... He had somebody working with him, and he had a halter on him in, what, three days? 
Yeah, so we're not very long. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Three yeah. days old and had a halter. Yeah. And and they, they're they loved. You know, they're cared mm-hmm. for. Um, they're selected with their breeding. They're selected with their buyers. Oh, good. Oh, I got to say, it. they're very much like dogs. I'm, they are. I'm it's had like a little dog. They meat. are big dogs. They are big dogs. I have four at home, and they are big dogs. Do they eat everything? Yeah, they will. They will. <laughs> they, you would have to fence them at your place. I would have to. Rebel do is not a little rebellious everything. with me right now. Yes. Rebel likes you. That's well, they, they obviously named Rebel for a reason. There we go. Yeah. Three days later, boom, Rebel without a cause. There okay. you go. Well, we just hope that, you know, everybody comes out. We've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday shows mm-hmm. coming out to the Ozark Empire Fair. You know, the livestock team there is doing a great job. And we're in that big, new, beautiful, air-conditioned Wilson's Logistic Arena. So we're pretty excited about that. We've always been in the heat. So come on out and see us. Well, you guys, check it out. Ozark Empire Fair coming up uh, next week. Go Remember, go into the correct gate, find them, and find her mama for a, a, a sweet treat for viewing uh, Ozark's Fox Sam. Thanks yes. for tuning in. Ozark's Fox Sam, have a great day.